operate with a sense of urgency. We gotta do some things different. We're changing the attitude of this district. All new at six, a North Texas school district under fire is combating criticism in a different way. Hello and thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. I'm Doug Dunbar. The ones for justice uncovered questionable spending within DeSoto ISD. Now the district is releasing its own little docu series to address some of those very concerns. Alana Otler live for us at the theater in Victory Park, where the film is set to premiere later on tonight. Alana. Hi, Doug. Hi, Gilma. And yes, that film is called DeSoto Rising. And in less than an hour, in this very theater behind me, it will premiere in front of a private audience. Now, the docuseries is aiming to answer the very same question that we've been asking How did it get here? There was a lot of division in our community. DeSoto ISD wants to shape its own story. So, to do that, the district is releasing its own docuseries. A spokesperson says the six month documentary project cost $50,000, funded through a federal grant meant to increase diversity. One thing that I'm not going to stand for is our unethical behavior. Starting in the 1930s, DeSoto Rising traces how socioeconomic diversity became part of DeSoto's identity. The film also aims to address some of the district's recent controversies. The trailer alludes to former Superintendent David Harris, who resigned last year amid an investigation into financial mismanagement. We decided to own our narrative a whole lot better than what anyone else could. We decided to tell our own story. Last month, a CBS 11 investigation found questionable spending by former and current administrators. Credit card charges spanning everything from luxury hotels to personal items. Less than a week later, a bombshell. Leaders announced it may need to close a school to address a budget shortfall, proposing roughly $23 million in cuts. We gotta do some things different. Leaders acknowledge the docuseries will serve as an alternative to traditional marketing, especially as it covers some of the district's less flattering moments. So we're just working differently with the resources that have already been allocated for us. It's grant funds, and we have to use those funds. That screening starts at 7 p.m. and it will be followed by a panel discussion with the superintendent and other community leaders from DeSoto. Coming up at 10, we'll have reaction about this unique marketing campaign. Live in Victory Park, I'm Alana Otler, CBS 11 News. Alana, thank you very much. And Alana, by the way, has reported extensively on the financial issues involving and facing DeSoto ISD. You can catch up online, there's a lot of info there. Just head to CBSDFW.com and you can search DeSoto ISD.